Recently, I got a few very slim speakers in for review, the Procella P6s. These speakers are shallow enough to where I can fit them behind a screen, so I reached out to the folks at Elite Screens for an acoustically transparent one. So today, we're going to be checking out the Acousta Pro 1080p3. Before we jump into it, if you're new to home theater or watching new movies, consider becoming a subscriber for new weekly videos. Inside the box, you get a top and bottom frame pieces measuring 110 inches wide, and two side frame pieces measuring 49 inches high. When the screen is put together, it'll be 115 inches diagonal. There's instructions, a screwdriver, a tiny hammer, some tension tabs, mounting hardware in the little box, and some clear tension rods. First thing we're going to do is grab the angle bracket out of the box and insert it into the notches on the side of the frame piece. You'll have to do this for all four corners. Now join the smaller side pieces with the top and bottom pieces. Once you get them lined up, you'll have to screw them together in this little hole. Do this for all four corners and make sure they're all lined up correctly. Next, take the white screen fabric and roll it out. Make sure you're on a clean surface so you don't get any dirt or stains on the screen. Now take the clear tension rods and insert those inside the seam on the edge of the screen material. The long rods go on the top and bottom and the short rods go on the sides. Once those are in, you're going to line up the screen edge with this groove on the inside of the frame. Take the little tension tabs and stick them in the grooves which will keep the screen material from popping out. Make sure the velcro side is facing outwards. You're going to have to do this all the way around the entire frame, keeping the spacing relatively equal to one another. This should put some good tension on the screen and keep it flat. Now you're going to grab the black fabric and stick it to the velcro on the tension tabs, keeping it as tensioned as possible. When that's all done, you can mount the screen with the included mounting brackets. I've already got some brackets from my old screen, so I'm just going to use those instead. So the main purpose of me getting the screen in is so I can mount the Procella speakers behind it. There's actually a window behind here, which I covered up with some insulation and put a board over it so I can mount the speakers. Before hanging the speaker, just double check and be sure that everything is level. I know, you can see the speaker cables, but this is a temporary install, so I'm not going to be worried too much about it. If the speakers do sound good, and I decide to keep them, then I'll go back and hide all the wires. But for the time being, this is what it is. As for hanging the screen, I'm sure it's easier with two people, but the screen really doesn't weigh much, so it didn't take too much effort to mount it. And again, make sure you measure to be sure the screen is centered or lined up with your projector. Since I'm using an anamorphic lens and my throw distance is about 12 feet, I had to go with a curved screen because the lens will add a pin cushion to the center of the screen. So a curved screen will make it less noticeable. Being how I've never owned an acoustically transparent screen before, I was kind of worried about the texture of the material and if you could see it from the seating distance. Up close, the screen is a weaved material, and it looked kind of like spandex. Once it's tensioned, it's really smooth, although not as smooth as a non-transparent screen. This particular screen has got a gain of 1.0, so I'm expecting it to be a little dimmer than the Elite Cine White that I reviewed in the past, which has a gain of 1.1. After firing up the projector, I will say, if I recall correctly, that this does indeed seem to have a touch less pop from the Cine White. If I'm looking at something all white, it does appear to have less sheen to it. I'd say it's a little duller. If I bump up the contrast a bit, I can kind of help it out. But overall, after watching a ton of movies this past week, I didn't have any major concerns or felt what I was watching lacked much detail. As for the screen altering the sound of the speakers, at least to my ears, I couldn't tell a difference at all. If you've got room correction in your processor or receiver, I'm sure that's going to correct any major variances, if any. You'll have to actually speak. The noise didn't affect the women, remember? 
The main takeaway is, now dialogue actually sounds like it's coming directly from the actors' mouths rather than from below the screen. This definitely adds to the immersive nature of getting lost in a movie. The soundstage isn't too wide because the speakers are too far off to the sides, and everything is now on a perfect level plane right in front of you. If you're looking for a real theatrical experience at home, this is the best way to do it. At the time of this video, the 115-inch 235x1 isn't available on Elite's website, but the 120-inch is for $559. You can get the screen in either 16x9 or 235x1 with a different screen material other than acoustically transparent if you want to go with something more traditional. I think for an acoustically transparent screen for under 600 bucks, this is a killer deal. It wasn't quite as bright as their own Cinewhite I tried out, and I do feel detail is also a touch softer as well. I'm sure if they had a tighter weave material, it'll really get closer to their non-transparent screens. And remember, those screens are about twice the cost for the added performance. The biggest thing here is that you can hide those speakers behind the screen, which is going to give you a more cinematic experience. With a couple tweaks on the projector, colors were nice and vibrant, and 4K material looked fantastic, and the speakers disappeared into the screen. If you're looking to bring the movie theater feel at home, and hide those speakers without breaking the bank, the Acousta Pro 1080p is going to be a tough screen to beat. So what are your thoughts on acoustically transparent screens? Would you rather hide your speakers, or keep them out in the open? Leave a comment and let us know. As always guys, thanks for watching, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again in the next video.